Hello everyone and welcome to part three of our ADA step-by-step -step setup guide. Today we will be finishing off installing our CO2 system and canister, having a look at the Maxbeck razor which we've already put on, filling the tank with water and looking at the fertilizers that we will be using. The first thing I want to do today is get the CO2 finished. Here I have the pollen glass beetle 30mm. The pollen glass beetle is a glass made diffuser supplying CO2 effectively throughout the aquarium with small air bubbles, much like pollen. Now we will finish the canister by adding the ADA NA carbon to the top layer of the canister filter. NA carbon is a high grade activated carbon with maximum absorption capacity as the NA carbon pellets are denser than a lot of the regular carbon available. It has subtle pores enabling highly effective absorption of surplus nutrients or organic matter which often causes algae. An adequate absorption cannot be achieved in a dry condition when it is first put to use since the carbon holds a lot of air and as such the area of contact with the water is reduced. Soak the carbon in dechlorinated water for a while, helping to release the air and also get rid of any carbon powder, which I've already done so it's ready to go in. So I've got a couple of US Fissenden rocks that we're going to put in today uh, with probably some more plants to follow on later on down the track. So they're just uh, US Fissenden tied on with a bit of the ADA Rickia line on some Rickia stone. For the water conditioning, I will be using Seachem Prime. Due to the heavy doses of chlorine present in Adelaide tap water, I will be double dosing. As this tank is around 180 litres, I will be using 10 mils of Prime. Now the tank and 
canister is full, we can turn on the filter. After a sufficient amount of water has passed through the inline heater, it may be turned on. The heater has already been preset to 24 degrees. Is it on? It's on. Now I'm going to fill the beetle counter with water so we can get the CO2 running. Although the ADA recommendation is one bubble per second for new setups, we will be advancing to three bubbles per second as we already have a dense HC carpet and want to continue the strong growth. We decided to come back in today to finish filming as after filling the tank last night, it was a little cloudy. 24 hours later, the tank is still a little cloudy, however, much more improved. I have decided to increase the aquascape by adding a driftwood tree, which is gold vine covered with weeping moss, and also add a couple of rocks covered with mini pelia. This is the Maxpect Razor, which has been installed onto the tank. I've pre-programmed the Razor, and if you wish to check out my review on the Razor, please follow the link on screen or in the description. This video review also includes the programming I did for this particular tank. I may make some changes to the programming, but for now I want to see how it performs. The Maxpect Razor is a fantastic LED, with many of our customers having great success with their planted and marine aquariums. So for the first week of running this system, we are going to add green bacter every day for seven days. Green bacter contains rich organic acid that microorganisms prefer, thereby it promotes the propagation and growth of these microorganisms. As green bacter promotes the colonisation of filtration media and substrate bacteria, the launching of the biological filter is accelerated during the initial setup period. 
For new setups, we need to add one drop per 10 litres and do this for seven days. For the first week, we will be doing daily 50% water changes. From the second week, we will do water changes every second day, as well as removing any dead or withered leaves from the aquarium. We will be testing our ammonia and nitrites and making sure the cycling process is progressing and the levels stay consistent with the cycle process. During week two, we will also begin the liquid fertilization process. The fertilizers I will be using to start with are ADA Green Brighty Step 1 and ADA Brighty K. Green Brighty Step 1 will be used daily for the first three months as it supplies the trace elements for the healthy growth of aquatic plants. It will also promote new leaf and root growth. Brighty K is a potassium supplement. You may wonder why potassium is important for a planted aquarium. Nitrogen and phosphates are produced excessively from fish waste, leftover fish food and dead leaves in the aquarium. Aquatic plants grow by absorbing the compound of nitrogen, phosphate, potassium and other various trace elements but lacking of any nutrient can cause unhealthy growth of plants. When potassium is in shortage, the photosynthesis activity and growth of aquatic plants are reduced, and the plants lose their resistances against yellowing and whitening of leaves as well as algae growth. Therefore, su supplying potassium is very important as it tends to lack in the aquarium constantly. I will have more tank updates with more ADA products being spotlighted in the coming months so that you can keep up with the progress of our aquarium. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. I would like to thank you all for watching my ADA step-by-step -step guide series and that you found them informative and helpful.